Tinkercad tips. Let's talk about 3D printed chainmail or flexible fabrics like these. Over the last week or two, I've kind of become fascinated by different um, designs of this flexible fabric or chainmail. And what I wanted to do over the next few videos was to show you a number of these, how I quick, quickly made them in Tinkercad, and when I printed them, um, how well they worked. Some worked well, some not so well. So this is the first design here. This is um, pretty common. It's an H-block design. And if we zoom in here, you can see it's just a simple, you know, rectangles and shapes. And do notice that there is a gap between this top bar and the bottom. And the way we use this is we can simply just take a duplicate of this, shift it over a bit. Let's just quickly move it into place here. And we would use wave duplication, you know, to make these big sheets of them. But if you look down in here, the way this is spaced, we want to move this so that it, this leg goes in between these other legs. And you use wave duplication to make these larger sheets. And of course, size will matter. If you print these two small things, might stick together. I printed this up in about this size, and I'll show you what that looked like and how well it worked. Here we have the printed version of that H-block design. It's got a very big piece, and the lengths are somewhat small. The detail is still really good. This turned out to be quite flexible in both directions. Um, if this was printed, you know, with larger to scale it up a bit, I bet it would be even more flexible as the gaps would become larger. But this H-block design worked well. Super easy to make in Tinkercad and to print. So there's that one. If you have any comments or suggestions, drop them in the comments down below. Like, follow, and share as always. And I'll be going over some of these other designs over the next few uh, tutorials. So there you go. There's your Tinkercad tip.